You know how last week. You know how like a lot of the consoles, I don't I don't even know why, but a lot of things when you get them, they come in like hefty packages and you just you pull it all out and you get like this tiny thing and you're like, damn. Yeah. Like why why do I have all of this yeah, extra stuff I have to throw away? But it's it's just this just seems like really big. Like, I mean, it's got the handle on it. And I remember the last one, the PS4 having a handle. Mm-hmm. But, like, this sucker is, like, <laughs> it's, like, that big. Yeah, dude. You know? I believe but, it. It's a huge console, man. Very big console. Yeah, but. You're um, going to have to find some space to put that thing there somewhere. Yeah, you might have to break down the box or something. We just throw it away. I mean, I've yeah, been keeping boxes. It. I, but I keep the boxes, but yeah. Yeah. Some of the boxes might be worth something. Everyone Maybe. that can't get one, you sell it and it'll just be like, like an stare IOU at it for Christmas. You give it to somebody, and the inside it's IOU. Who knows? People might do that. An IOU? That's like that's called a gag gift, man. Uh huh. It'll, it'll, it'll be an Xbox Series S inside. Like, oh, oh, no. oh, no, that's it. Uh, that like, you got the receipt? <laughs> yeah, Xbox Series. Uh, I couldn't find a box. So I couldn't find one. Only one that could fit it. Yeah, you're like, you know what? I just didn't even want to wrap this one. Yeah. You know, you give it in the PS5 box, yeah. and they're like, oh, oh yeah. you open it up, and then it's the S inside. Yeah. You're like next gen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least you got the next gen. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Most underwhelming next gen in the world, man. Yeah, but yeah. So the PS5 UI reveal. Yeah. You know, uh, give me you guys thoughts on you know first impressions of it. Yeah. So when I, when they, when they, you know, we saw the opening splash, you know, the gold or whatever. The that that, that so that was legitimate. Yeah. So we can we know now that that leak was legitimate. Dots, right? Yeah, like that was the legitimate opener. They didn't change it since whenever that guy made that video, they didn't change it. So that is confirmed. Um, and it's cool looking. And then I was kind of expecting something a little bit more flashy when they actually entered into the UI. But it seemed a little basic to me. And uh, there's like, is there no themes anymore? Like, there probably is themes, but that's the basic. It, the basic like thing. The game kind of dictated the theme. Yeah, I agree. Like, I didn't see the themes. Like, because when they went down to the home screen, so that's one thing too. It's like two screens now, which I wasn't too big of a fan of that, because like you enter the game and now the backdrop is the game, like what Mark was saying, and then you have the cards, right? That's the new some of the new functionalities. But in order to get to the home screen to see like what games you have available to play or what like like to access your library, you go down to a separate menu at the bottom of the UI and you go to the home screen. And it seemed like whatever, you know, app or application or, or game you were cursoring over, that game's like artwork took the whole screen up. Like so if you curse it over um, that destruction all stars or whatever the whole back screen became destruction all stars right right um i'm like dude where'd the themes go you know like it's one thing you know to have the thing cursor over and you know because like on ps4 if you go down into its community information then you kind of got like a back screen of like the game but the standard thing was your themes so that was kind of interesting to me. I don't know if themes are gone or if they got rid of themes. So that was kind of like one of the, the buzz kills for me as I saw it. Um, it just seemed like everything was big time on advertising words, throwing something at you, telling you something, getting you to do something. Um, it, it, that's the direction this kind of felt like it was going. I mean, it was fast and snappy. I liked that. What do you think, Mark, how, how it looked? So I really liked it. So for me, the themes wasn't big. I don't care much about the themes. So if it's confirmed that themes don't come, that's okay with me. But first off, I like that the home screen, just, you know, when you turn on your console, it looks like it's the new and improved version of the home screen that we currently have. You have all your icons, you navigate through. Then you go down to the home screen? Well, no, no, no. When you, so you know, like when you first turn on mm-hmm. your, your console, <coughs> currently, right now, right now. And then with the new home screen on the PlayStation, it looks like the new one is just an iteration of what we currently mm-hmm. have with just a more refined icon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I really like that they just built out on top of that. Mm-hmm. It has like a minimalist vibe to mm-hmm. it, nice and clean. And then the new cards feature, it looks fantastic. I like how it's just big in your face and it has a lot of information. I like how it goes from the game back to the cards pretty quick and easy and i like how it's all you know relevant information it looks really good mm-hmm. it 
you know provides value to you because it pertains to the game i like when you're in a game that bottom new bar you know what i'm talking about mm-hmm. I don't know the yeah name to, for it's it. like the navigation bar so you can navigation, navigation to like navigation your friends bar. list your party list the home screen yeah. i like how it's just simple the icons show exactly what it is um and it's just quick and easy you know it's just left and right so i really like that mm-hmm. you know it reminds me of like you know back on max when they has, used to have the dock and it kind of you know, I don't know if it's still like that, but you know, like on on um, Mac OS, on Mac OS, oh. when you used to have the dock and it had all the icons. Yeah, you have that still. Oh, yeah. you have that still. Yeah. I, I like that style. You know, it it looks pleasing. It's simple to use. But uh, see, to to reference that, like, but you still have like a standard home, home screen, on a Mac OS, right? Like your desktop, right? So whenever you go back home, you have your standard desktop, and then you have all your icons at the bottom that take you to something other than like I your know, standard but, desktop. But when you have a window open. You still have your yeah. You still have just like this. yeah. So when the game is running, you still have this, and then you still have your home screen. Well, you, you have to press the PS button though. Right, right. But I'm just saying. So like, not when the game is running. When, when the, the game, when is, the running, game is running, you have you do have that when you when you push the PS button, the cards. Yeah, when you push the PS yeah, button. Yeah, yeah. yeah, when you push the PS button. Right. Right. Yeah, which is no different really than what the current PS4 UI is like. When you push the PS button, you go to the home screen. You have access to all those things too. Yeah, but you totally go out to the home screen though. Don't you? Like, you can't even see the game anymore. Yeah, but why would that matter? I can't play. While I have the PS button pressed on the new UI or the PS4, I can't play the game. So what does it matter if it's visually in the background or not? We could talk about that when we get to the features part because the cards, it brings, you know, so much. Yeah. Um, But, you know, just going back, I like how it's simple. It's clean. It looks like... It's I agree. very easy to use. It's not overly complicated. Mm-hmm. You know, it's very simple. It's, it's very I think minimal. it's a tad more complicated only because you have to do an additional. It's very minimal, but you have to do an additional press to get somewhere that you normally wouldn't have to now. It's very. It's only one additional press, but um, it's still easy. I mean, I think the the current PS4 UI is very easy to navigate too. Yeah. Um. Very simple, but. But yeah, I like. But how I like how clean the it is. Bottom dock, it just has. I mean, I feel like those would be the most things that you would navigate to. So I think for the most part, it's still one button click. You know, maybe if you go to the settings, that might be additional. You know, clicks. Well, but. for instance, on my PlayStation Four right now, the moment I press my PS button, I go to the home screen and I can swap games. I can switch to a whole new game immediately. Gotcha. Currently, I have to press the PS button, then I have to go down to the home screen icon, press that, go home, now click the game that I want to get to. Got you. That's what I'm saying. Okay. It's so they're they're they're, they're both simple. I just yeah. think it's slightly just ever so slightly more complicated on the PS5 than the PS4. Gotcha. I don't even know if complicated is the right word, but it's just slightly it just more, more yeah, just slightly yeah, things. one like one or two additional clicks. But you know, when we get to the features, I think in certain respects it'll take less clicks to do some things. So swapping games for some things, yes. Swap, for some, some things, things like the card things more, or to get information will be much. yes, I agree with that. Yeah. Anyways, so, what'd you think, Godly? Um I like the way it was working. Uh, I thought it was it was nice. I mean, I don't really the 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 themes are cool, um, but I honestly don't really stare too much at the uh, the home screen to like really care. So, I mean, it it's kind of like you'd almost always have like a different dynamic theme because of whatever game you're playing. You know, it would just show you whatever you were playing. You know, so it's on this like a one, different background on yeah. the new one, yeah, yeah, on the new one. So, um, but I, I still feel like there will be uh, PS5 themes because I could yeah, have sworn that I saw how themes it gets incorporated. in like um, a digital deluxe version of some mm, game. I could have gotcha. sworn like one of the games that there was that there was like a theme uh, when you downloaded the the game or whatnot. So I don't know. I think they I think there's still something to play. With I'm just there. wondering because they didn't Let's show it at all. So I'm just curious. Yeah. I like themes. I like to be able to customize my my screen, dude. That's fun for me. But anyways. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, from what I was looking at, I, I thought I thought that you had uh, several options to choose from with the initial cards that were there. Like you could you could choose the first card was the game that you were playing, which was shown on your background, and then you could move to the other cards, which were some other games that you had on your on your system or mm-hmm. whatever. So you could easily swap to that. So I don't even know. I mean, I could be wrong, but it didn't look like you would even have to touch the home screen or go anywhere else. You would just slide over to the next card, click it, and then start playing it. I love you, Nate.